Recently, I was going through some old papers when I came across a Sunday Times article from over a decade ago, uh, May the 11th, 2010, to be precise. The story, uh, well worth retelling, concerns a timeless and universal truth that is captured in the words, Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. One of the most famous misquotations in the English language. So first, let me correct this, this misquotation. The actual lines are, Heaven has no rage like love to hatred turned, nor hell a fury like a woman scorned. When William Congreve uh, wrote these words in his 1697 play, The, the Morning Bride, Little did he realize he was giving tax advice to errant husbands of the 21st century. Husbands like Scott Young. Young, a tycoon fallen on hard times, was at the center of a bitter £400 million divorce battle with his wife, Michelle. Just over a decade ago, this highly acrimonious case had the whole of Britain enthralled. So much so that even eight years later, the full story was still broadcast in a BBC Two documentary on January 2018. Young had declared himself bankrupt, owing £2 million to the taxman. Claiming to be broke, Scott said he was unable to support his wife, Michelle, and their two children. Thankfully, she did receive some financial help from friends. However, Michelle, having lost her privileged lifestyle, was not satisfied. She was furious. She said, we are just living one day at a time. He is eating in the finest restaurants with beautiful young models, while my girls don't know their futures. She asserted that her husband had links with Eastern European gangsters and had salted away large sums of money. She wanted her share. But how could Michelle prove her claim? She couldn't. Uh, she didn't have the resources to track down the money through a maze of concealed deals. However, she knew someone who did. Uh, the British tax man. Scott should have listened to Congreve before handing over his old laptop computer to his children to help them study for their exams. Uh, of course, he did the sensible thing and delete all his personal files, uh, or so he thought. In her fury, Michelle paid experts to scour the hard disk, and they managed to recover a selection of five years' worth of encrypted files containing hundreds of emails and other sensitive data on Scott's financial and property dealings. These she calmly threatened to hand over to the tax authorities. Revenge is a dish best served cold. In a panic, uh, Scott did offer her £30 million settlement uh, to stop the investigation, but all to no avail. How Scott, a bankrupt, could raise such a large sum is a mystery. Uh, anyway, the melodrama ended tragically in December 2014, when Scott mysteriously fell 60 feet to his death from a luxury London penthouse. <laughs> Did he jump, or was he pushed by his business partners, furious over the unwanted attention being brought to their allegedly shady deals. Uh, we'll never know. However, what we do know is, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned.